Stick around towards the end of the video for details on this video's giveaway. Only on Schmelting with Mikey Pipes. Check it out. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Wednesday, April 3rd, 2024. Just left the, uh, the shop in Woodmere and we're heading to an installation. Uh, we're taking out a little baby boiler, a little baby boiler in an apartment building uh, that has, I think, eight or nine total boilers and water heaters, one for each apartment. Uh, we're taking out, I believe it's a hydrotherm. I could be mistaken, I don't remember. And we're putting in none other than the Whale McLean CGA4. They actually have um, about 70 feet of total baseboard across two zones. Um, but we went a little extra on it because the building is a brick construction. It's around 70 years old and it's a quarter unit. So a quarter unit, you have a lot more exposure than an inside unit, you know, to the elements. So we went with a CGA4 instead of a uh, CGA3 like I originally proposed. But stick around, smash that thumbs up button in advance. And uh, let me get your thoughts and feedback at the end of the video with any, um, any feedback on the install. Let's get going! Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in case you want to go snowboarding. It never goes that way. There we go. We're going to need some light. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight all i gotta tell you is that if this guy imagine he gave us like 100k this room would look Sorry. like this room would look like this all right trip flip the switch <laughs> oh the disco wow that that ladies and gentlemen that's what I'm talking about. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Baby! Yeah! That is hot. That is hot. We should do one more row of, of lighting behind the primary, I mean, the supply manifold. Epic. All right. Um, actually, we're taking out a burnum. Right here. Little baby burnum. Let me get some light for you. There we go. This is a little baby burnum. It is. 50, 1,000 BTUs, a little oh, undersized, but we're going to take this five by three smoke, yeah, five by three smoke reducer out. We're going to put a new smoke tea, sorry, smoke tea out. We're going to put a five by four in the water heater staying as much as I wanted to get rid of the water heater and give him like a Burnham Alta or a Whale McLean EcoTech. No, nope, he just said boiler only. So we're gonna take this out. We have two zones. So I'm thinking we'll probably cut here and here, here and there, and maintain the two zone valves, and take out the boiler, put a new one in. We got a switch right there, which is off. Someone turned it off. No, that power's on. <laughs> the power's still on here. Interesting. All right, we need to get a light bulb. We need a light bulb for that. All right, we have the five by three inch smoke T, smoke Y out, which went to the water heater. We're gonna replace that with the new vent piping. The switch is reversed. See, that says off. <laughs> um, we're gonna cut here, 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 here. We're gonna slide this bad boy out. Um, should be 
a nice easy direct replacement should be um, if I had the money and the resources uh, to revamp this entire room um, I would probably put nine wall hung combis here or wall hung combis there and literally this this property owner could realistically rent out all this space which wouldn't be uh wasted with all this mechanical equipment imagine imagine having another say two three hundred square feet more imagine that three hundred square feet more mike more washing machines <laughs> he could he could really make a real laundromat and then maybe invite in like the local community listen there's, there's a local laundromat right here see he wasn't paying he wasn't thinking with the big picture and you know he's watching his video too right now. You know that, right? No, leave that. What are you saying? Okay. <laughs> oh, I want to slide the boiler right in where this one was. But that would be really nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's not going to fit. <laughs> um, but we could use... No, nah, I would make it fit. I would make it fit, you know? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. But you'd have to give me like 100K. Not bad. A little over 10K for uh, per system installed. And you'll get all this room back. Imagine. Imagine. Hey, listen, buddy. Remember, you can't take it. Uh, the Hertz doesn't come behind you with the uh, bank vault. All right. I cut out the... Return pipe there and a supply pipe right there. Timer went off. We have no illumination. Um, our power, we had the red and the white, red being power going to the uh, aquastat really that was there and the white being the neutral. There's TT coming from the zone valves and transformer. Now we are gonna try to slide this bad boy out. Uh, all right. Take the top of that boiler off so we can get under the gas. Oh, yeah. And, uh, that sucks. And then hopefully we'll slide this bad boy out. Baby boiler. Take your time, and when I'm getting hurt, only five steps. Oh, oh no, step, step, step. Okay. Bring that truck over here. Don't slide it in yet. We gotta dress it out. All right, so it is 9:27. We have the supply and returns dressed out. Came up. I extended the nipple at coming out of the top of the boiler factory. I put in a six-inch nipple there because the five-inch was too short. Because then I couldn't hang my expansion tank below my spiral vent. Uh, and also in doing that, I, I put a close nipple here instead of something a little bit longer because I didn't want to hit the the, uh, the gas piping. But then again, I'm not going to get my tridicator gauge onto the, the T that's factory supplied. So I kicked that on a little bit of a 45. I came up with a piece of inch and a quarter with two 90s, a close, a shoulder, the spiral vent. And then I'm sizing down right out of my inch and a quarter spiral vent to one inch. And I'm going to wrap around with one inch to these... Uh, the split supply so the two zones for there with the two zone valves 
And coming up out of the top of my circulator, I'm doing three quarter here. I don't think two feet of pipe is gonna make a huge difference. Um, below the spiral vents, I have my Webstone uh, expansion tank isolation valve that allows me to pipe in. My pressure reducing valve, which I'm gonna come across here. And I may do something a little funky here, but I'm gonna come up and go up here and vertically mount my Kalefi uh, half inch pressure reducing valve. I think it's gonna look great. Mike's working on the flu. We have a five by four inch smoke Y right there. Uh, the four inch is gonna pick up the exhaust of the water heater. Why everything here is in three inch for these water heaters, I don't know. Even the one that we did, it is what it is. Just keeping it real. 2019, right as COVID, the China virus was conquering those cruise ships. But like I said, if I had 100, 100K here, I would revamp this entire room and he would have a lot more space to rent out. Peter, can I ask you a, a dumb question? Yeah. What the fuck are you doing with that? Oh, it's... Oh, it's half it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Peter. Come on, Peter. You know, I, you, you sit in the office all day long. I'm surprised you're not playing Xbox all day. <laughs> See, you're not in the field enough. You got to get you more in the field. All right, so uh, we got out of the bottom of our spiral vent. We're using the Webstone um, expansion tank isolation valve set. It allows me to drain the expansion tank. It allows me to isolate the expansion tank. And uh, I could uh, and, and hook up our water feed here. So we, we didn't have a long enough piece. So we have a half-inch nipple coupling, half-inch nipple 90, right? And coming up to our Kalefi half-inch pressure reducing valve with optional gauge. And we have a backflow prevention device there. And then we're going to come up. And you saw that already live, just that this has got to be more up like that. And um, it'll be nice and proper. Very, very nice and proper. I still got to wire up the circulator. I cut the leads a little shorter. And we got to take power from that 1900 box to here. And we got the blower because I accidentally... Oh, it's your blower. Yeah. Nice. Watch this. cut that line I got some water on top of the boiler and it looks like the control got a little wet so I just used the Milwaukee M18 blower that we stock in the trucks it's nice it's great for cleaning out electrical compartments of condensers if you want to do that now here take it now blow away because I was worried about that falling off You need some new boots. All right, Peter, turn the switch on. <laughs> oh, nothing. Oh, what the fuck? All right, we just connected the Molex connector from the Burnham, on uh, Burnham, Well, McLean boiler control. So let's just check for voltage inside there. I want to be inside your Molex connector. Let's go this to this. Yeah, I'll turn it on. Shove it in there. <coughs> See, shove it in the hole. Bzz, bzz. No power. We did something wrong. We did something wrong. All right. All right, so I got power there. And I don't have power here. We just checked our Wago connectors there and everything's fine. Let's see. You ready? How the hell is there no power here? That is effing odd. Unless the neutral, no. Something's very odd here. Very, very odd. The black. 
went on our red. Our white is on our neutrals. All right, let's check here. Huh. Oh. All right. Put that switch on. How the hell is that even possible? <laughs> Are you telling me that my Romex is bad? That's crazy. All right, let's turn this on. Oh, no, there's no power there. There's no power. How is there no power there? Something's not right here. We just checked it. Could be a bad neutral. Let's say bad neutral. Let's try. No. Bad switch? This is crazy. So we just tested the switch and you turn it on and off multiple times. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we got to replace this switch and I don't want to go up to the apartment. So we're going to remove this plate off this electric uh, junction box and see if I could just separate a uh, line and neutral. Uh, that, way, that way I'm not working in there with wiring. Perfect. All right, so let's uh, get something to stand on and um, Let's disconnect the lines going to the switch. All right, take two. You ready, Peter? Ready. <laughs> we never connected it up above. <laughs> oh my God. All right, Peter, take two. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> we killed a good half hour messing around with that. All right, so here is the finished product. Well, McLean CGA4 gas-fired hydronic boiler. Came out pretty nice. Um, I rolled this like that just because I think it was easier than wasting another fitting. But uh, everything came out nice. We maintained the two existing zone valves, but redid all the piping to both zone valves. Our uh, return to the circulator also on the return. 007. I'm surprised that Whale McLean did not ship a ECM motor with this boiler. It's kind of odd, but we have our drain right there in the bottom and everything else is very, very nice. The flue, most important, we upgraded that to four inch off the top of the water heater for code compliance. We have that five by three smoke Y with five inch coming out of the top of the draft diverter. Seal controls, automatic vent damper. We are good to go. If you are in the Long Island uh, area and looking for a new gas boiler, look no further than Pipe Doctor, 516-348-6300. Whether you need a boiler, a water heater, a backflow prevention device, or just preventative maintenance and service, give us a call. We'll be glad to help. You can book an appointment online at pipedoc.net. Click the little blue link to book online. Select a trip charge for the area that you're located in. If you're located just in the Nassau County uh, area, it's a standard $115 trip charge to come out to your home or office and see what's going on. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, be well, God bless, stay safe. If you check out the Schmelting with Mikey Pipes YouTube channel, we're giving away the scrap copper melted down to a solid bar. Check it out, guess the weight. They're exempt.